just the other day in the qualifier for this exact event, well, then it could be a Spirit 2-0, but I'm not thinking it's likely. Yeah, let's bide our time. Let's see how this one goes. Map 2 of the day. Inferno. I love me a P250 on the pistol, Chad. The things we've been seeing. It's been filthy lately. From the P250. Very powerful weapon in the right hands, and they've put it into Mantus as he pairs it up with a smoke flash. Same by for Valda. So they'll be bringing two P250s in, which implies it might be a bit slower than the all-in maneuvers you see in some pistol rounds. But I say all-in. <laughs> Look at the CTs. They are charging down, bringing the fight to the Ts off the back of a flash. Mantu backs away. They have conceded middle. And Alexi's working on a lot. And that's Valda's P250. Long range into Magix. Mantu's been corralled all the way to spawn. Alexi does arrive to put pressure on those T-Ramp players. And now they're cornering him in. Chopper pushed in from behind. This is played perfectly into OG's hands. Well, this is a two-on-five situation that Spirit forced into. If you don't find any frags, if you don't catch them off guard, then now you need to hope that you have some magical moments. And Mia, he's up to the plate, over towards Graveyard, tucked on in with the Diffuse Kit and the USP in hand. He's going to need to hit some clean headshots. The Miracle Machine. Struggling. Just the one. Isso does go down, and that puts us into a near impossible SDY round. He is locked and long. Smoke bloomed on that side. He'll just be biding his time. He does have his full Kevlar vest, so it would be nice if he doesn't take a point of damage on that. See my vest. See my vest. See my real gorilla chest. As MBK is going to take down SDY. Now, that's for those of you who are old and used to watch The Simpsons. And The Simpsons, in case you don't know, it's an animated series. It's got some characters. And it's in reference to Beauty and the Beast. So if you're unfamiliar with Beauty and the Beast, be our guest. Be our guest. I like The Simpsons parody better, though, Alex. It's Mr. Burns. Uh, does he gallivant? Yeah, it's his, it's his wardrobe, and it's frolicking? to do with... Uh, it, it's, he's, I think he's skinning some animals to make... He's actually got a gorilla's chest. Well, it's kind of like a crossover with um, 101 Dalmatians. Oh, he is. And he's like Cruella de Vil. Yeah. Oh, that was a good movie as well. Her name was literally Cruella de Vil. Yeah. Disney, on the nose as always. Magic's throwing out his smoke. Oh. As, whoops, okay, the smoke does eventually arrive, and so do we. Actually, what are the server conditions looking like? Oh, that good. All right. Well, it's good that our weatherman is uh, paying attention. There's uh, got buttons to press, people to see. He's probably like, shut up, Chad. What do you want, Chad? What do you want? What's going on? Well, oh, we he just looked a bit laggy. Just got a bit, bit laggy. Uh, you know, sometimes GoTV does that. Uh, it does get a bit scary, not going to lie. But uh, I freaked out. I thought we were done. That's all. Uh, bear with it. All right. All right. We'll be patient. And so will OG. They're just taking map control right now. So they have halfway. I will say they don't have mid control, and Magix is confirming that as he jiggles across. But there is the extension they were waiting for. Chopper goes for info and gets more than he bargained for. Mir, though, oh, peeks around the corner and takes Valda's head clean off. The off angle from Issa pays off. Disbalance caught, but now Magix. Oh, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Lines him up. SD Wise found the headshot two to the center of mass. He gets a double kill. Now MBK's got a clutch up a 1v2. That's nuts. So Bomb will be picked up. May has already hit one banger. He does get spotted and an AK found. But now NBK has only 30 seconds to piece this together. And SDY is just going to dig his heels in to the apartments. Should be able to deny the plant unless NBK plants safe. He's hearing all these footsteps right now. SDY, be patient, my friend. The rotation's coming. And that is one way to win a second round. They get a Galilla and an AK out of it. Magic. So this is what that that's actually a prime example of what some people complain about with yeah. the Deagle. So you are hearing a bit of a, a narrative at the moment that the Deagle's a bit overpowered because two bullets to the belly, as what we're likely to see from Magic's here, will get you a kill. Boom, boom. You can see here is aiming lower than the uh, chest and headshot. And there, if he gets those bullets in, it's two bullets. That's 100 damage done. Uh, whereas if you hit them in the chest, it's going to take you three shots to get that frag. 95 and two. And that is always a frustrating <laughs> place to find yourself with that Deagle. But you also see the flip side of it. The Deagle, if you hit those heads, the one bullet hand cannon can be an absolute monster. And they also needed frags like that team spirit in round number two to net themselves a force by victory, but they need two in a row. There's nothing worse than being on the CT side and being reset back. That 1,400 loss bonus, it stings. And OG, it's they've purchased easy. on him with uh, a couple of smokes. We might see a set piece. OG love a couple of these over towards the A side, usually up through quad out through the apartments. Yeah, Alexi's usually got a smoke and a flash to our system, and he's got just the right ingredients. I mean, Arch lane here, this looks like it's a quad side smoke he's lining up.
five, four, three, two, one. Wow, smoke's really are 15 seconds. Now he lines it up. So he deploys it alongside. Magix responds with a nade. Oh, and if he gets the timing perfect, the molly will keep him at bay. He wants to time it just as they start moving in front of that molly. Now. At least that note that they still have mid control. So that's good information for OG as they push up middle. They know they need to clear. Nothing on the jiggle. So patient. Oh, he gets him down to four HP. He's going to be kicking himself. And now out the come of the apps. It's easy for SDY. Just a massacre. And Valda with his P250 Kevlar starts his adventure. Ooh, SDY might peek into the P250. It would be powerful for Valda if he does. Hi. Can't tap away and get swung on. So spirit weather the storm. Important round to win. Uh, very important round to win because if they go down there, as I was mentioning, that loss bonus, it would have been 1,400, and that's really hard for the CTs to muster too much of a competitive force by. They may have just taken a save there and conceded what would have been 3 to 1 as the score land for OG. But now, Team Spirit can do exactly that themselves. OG have to take the save. They don't have the option. There wasn't enough damage done. They only took out one individual. They didn't get the bomb down, so there's no stimulation of the economy and thus no justification to be going for a buy. They need to get the AKs out. That needs to become the priority. And for Spirit, they have a chance to farm things up. I just balance and chopper both with MP9s. Those are the ones we'd be looking towards to find the frags, net themselves some extra cash, and, well, get that AWP out for I just balance because we know he loves it. Certainly does. Disbalanced it does get tagged up. There's his own Molly that he just ran into there. Oh, oh. Oh, a chance. They can't finish off Magix. He's got disbalance in tow. And finally, there's something in favor of OG, but very short-lived. The flank from Banana. A burst into the skull of SDY brings him low, but it's all maybes and ifs. It's not enough. Spirit third. OG one. See, Magic's just turning away there. I'm not sure if he was expecting a flash or if, uh, I, if Dispounce was meant to be throwing it for him. But anyway, able to survive, able to hold on to that Galil. And carrying that through with into the gun rounds, there's no problems operating with that on the CT side. Bullet to the head, bullet to the body. That's all she needs is round number five about to get underway. AK-47's route for OG. Finally, we get to see them with a purchase. No ought for man to just yet to note. But they do have utility to work with and a default spread. Passive play from them towards second middle right now. You can see just how far back on the radar they are as Dispounce takes banana control, takes a shot. And what that means is OG have to use a couple of extra flashes and Molotovs to go for crowd control and banana. They can't be as, I guess, brazen with their picks. They can't put their bodies on the line as much because if I Dispounce hits a shot, that's a number man advantage in the early stages. They've actually left Chopper to solo here. He didn't have the best of games on overpass. And he only has that MP9. So he's going to use his utility to maintain the top banana control. And that's drawn Mir back over to help, who has utility of his own. But it's A, that's the port of call for OG. Yeah, Molly will force this balance off. They've got to get this push off. It's great Molly, isn't it? Prior to the peak, it does make a lot of it, a lot of the pushing easier, doesn't it? Just to completely deny that potential. He wants to re-peak, and he'll actually choose to smoke it. That's nice. That buys time. More time. They don't have banana info yet. They know there's a timer on this commitment. Magic's boosted up. This is an off angle that should pay dividends. Trying to find one. He does get more than oh my one. God. Nice shooting. Double kill. OG before they even get around the corner. Valdez working with a limp down to 23. Crossfire is so potent. Issa can't do anything. The setups are strong here from Spirit. And OG just walking straight into them. This is the best looking CT side from Spirit we've seen in some time. Even Chopper's going to find his first kill in round number five. And, and look at his dynamic. That looks so easy for Magix. It was. And I think it's because you can see that the first individual up mid to meet with Alexi B had already cleared that angle. It was the re-aggression from Magix within the mid round that caught them off guard and caught him two and a half kills. So fantastic work from Spirit here. And if they can continue this, if they can continue to stifle OG on their T side, I'm going to be impressed because Spirit haven't looked great on their CT side of this map. It's looked one dimensional. It hasn't looked like there's too much flair or thought going into a lot of it. And they can get bullied quite easily. Now, OG did just bottleneck themselves in spawn. It looked like they wanted to leave quickly, then came back, maybe needed to buy an extra grenade or two or murder a chicken. But regardless, they have themselves an economical. This one here, they're operating with three Deagles, a Tech-9, and a P250. Three smokes and three flashes. 
uh, two flashes, mind you. And they haven't even opted for any T-stairs control whatsoever. So this should be an easy round for Spirit to handle. They've already whittled down quite a large chunk of their utility. Mir and Chopper operating with very little. But the three defenders over towards A have much more. A couple of HEs, Molotovs depleted at this stage. And this is what we see in rounds like this. So you can note this and you can look at the two buys and you go, wow, OG, they don't really have too much of a chance, Chad. Well, it's not just about this round. It's about the flow and effects of this. And we've spoken about it once. We'll speak about it again. Maintaining that CT economy is a difficult thing to do. And if OG can bait out a few extra grenades. Think about the CT economy like an orchid. It's okay. beautiful All right. and it's well-maintained. It's beautiful when it's well-maintained, but a small mistake can cost... A lot. So the same with a lot of bushes out there, I think, Alex. Yeah, precisely. So when you're looking at OG now, what you consider them is they've got the watering can, mm. shaky hand. They've got to get this. They've got to get this right. They want to take a couple of weapons away from the team spirit squad, make it costly, force the rebuy. A dream is a disbalance orb that's unretrievable. It's going to be hard to manifest, but here we go. Three CTs to receive them. They flood in, and already that aforementioned orb is going to find one. Chopper knocks him off the perch and there's nothing, absolutely nothing to report. In fact, the general's still waiting for the word on how that push went. Now, this shows me that Spirit have done their homework. You could see as I Dispounce was rotating through spawn that he had a smoke. Now, he didn't drop that smoke to stop the push. He dropped that smoke into the choke point of CT spawn because it was quite clear what the indication of OG was. We want to isolate the site players, push through to CT, and see if we can grab control of construction and isolate those rotations. The fact that Team Spirit keep that picture perfect spotless... That's fantastic for them and their economy going forward. Now, as we move into round seven, finally, OG will have the ult for Mantu. He's been missing that in recent times. But look at this. Idis Balance has been everywhere over towards Banana, Arch side of middle. Now he's aggressive Halls. If they can take down either prong of this default towards Boiler and Halls, and that would be MBK, the first man to deal with this. It's a fantastic opening. He can even get out of dodge, spam through the cardboard walls. And there it is. Idis Balance with even more impact. He even gets out of dodge. Wait, are they re-aggressing window? They're thinking about it. Jesus. They don't need to do that with the number advantage. <laughs> uh, the mission accomplished, right? Early frag, NBK, unfortunately, swallowing the bitter pill of his sixth death. Oof. He's been having a real rough go of things on the start of this T campaign. And credit where it's due, it's due to the spirit CT side. They do seem to have tidied things up a little bit in comparison to what we've previously been seeing. Always helps when disbalance on form. Off in smoke. Ready. Rotation's pretty far away here. No one's cheating over at this point. So OG get a two on four on the B side. That's what they wanted. They're going to go for a very late stage boost. Oh, he's just up in time, but fully flash. He tucks in. They know where he is. Chopper new box, they say. And Mantu's the one to connect the bullet. One will go down thanks to Issa. Magic's working on banana flank. It'll be a 2-1 prong. They should go for this. They have the money. Coming in hot. It will be disbalance hunting. There is a smoke on Valdi. Likes to get that down towards Coffins now. So that shaves some time off of that advance. Magic's though, full set of util. Where does he want to dunk him? He gets a molly thrown in his face. That'll shave more time off the clock. That's all the T's have got. It'll be bullets from now on. A flash for the go. Magic's to push. Here they are. Nades. Good frags. This is getting sketchy for OG. Digs out of the hole is Issa. So many targets. He finds this balance. Cool, calm. And collects. That's Issa. Defending a crucial round. OG get two. And Issa gets the hell out of dodge. That was close. Too close for comfort. Oh, he couldn't find an AWP on his way out of the site there. And that means OG, regardless of winning that round, will be operating without the big green for man to. He did find some nice trades into the site there, and the timing of the flash as we saw Chopper getting mounted onto the triple box was everything. It completely stifled the Team Spirit defensive. He was up and tucked in the flashes. When you put your head just in that line of sight, he would have been able to avoid most of those. So just the perfect timing there from OG as they enter the site, and a, a very important round. Now, the fact that they only had one man survive and the cash not looking fantastic is why you have seen this tactical timeout called is their first round in the last six and the odds from gg.bet here at the top of your screen are heavily favoring spirit so this is curious to see i know that map number one did fall in spirit's favor but it was a close affair og 
I would say that they are still the favorites within map number two. We are in the early stages, round eight getting back underway. Mac 10 for Alexi B and a pace changes. I just bounce, gets banana control. Alexi wants middle, he's up. Everybody's blind and through Archie goes. Alexi jumping, bounding with the Mac 10, eventually dealt with, and that's gonna really slow down OG. actually seem to press cancel or at least heading towards boiler a little toe of Valde has been spotted but they are fully retreating and they've conceded banana and that concerns me because the chances are if they choose to re-aggress they'll have to use some util and they haven't got much of it three flashes you need to flash chopper off that close corner if you're really planning on denying banana once again how do you get past i just bounce first with the awp yeah, i mean an even so better question for him an even better question surely not dry oh this is about to give it to them he's about to give it to him Good flash. Does force this balance off the line. That's the frag, though. It's more than one. It's the whole team. Perfect partnership. And right back into their winning ways. Spirit have taken the lead again. Six for Spirit now. Another flawless round here. And I think we might see OG fall into one of their pocket strategies, which is going to be three players pour out of holes. Here it is on the replay again. And this second kill, I just bounced. Lovely. We caught that on the repeak there. You would think he gets flashed off, not able to help. Well, he knows Chopper's there. He can't leave. He's in-game leader hanging and steps out for two massive frags. So OG have opted in with another partial investment. And what I'm talking about here is a go-to, a comfort strat of Alexi. He loves to have three individuals going quite quickly through holes, but Looks like more of a banana lean as I just balance with info towards middle. Nade damage down towards banana as well. And oh my god, Mir on one HP. Tactical nukes on either side. Yeah, I don't know what Mir's supposed to do with one HP. Oh. Chopper. Counter-strike classic. Pulling the nades out as the opponent swing. Very punishing. He's on one. What's he going to yeah, do? Has to defend B with one. Magic knows he has to be proactive, and that is proactive. He pushes in. Good spray. Good nade. Nade can finish the job, but it does. Dunks Issa. Molly as well. It's getting a bit hot. Mir needs to find the frag. He can't. Alexi does overwhelm. and covers the M4. It's short-lived. SDY knocks it back out of his hands. And Valder's low, and he's got a very low percentage chance. He doesn't have the bomb. He's going for the round-the-world play at 12 HP. Oh, how long until Team Spirit expect this? The smokes have faded and they're already checking. SDY has turned his attention towards CT spawn. I just balance now, locking down Banana from the Coffin's position. And Valdo would have to hit some phenomenal shots here to even look at this round. Uh, he's going to make a sound cue unless he goes down the steps. He does find <laughs> SDY and a chance presents itself. Whew, seven Good to damage. two. Seven to two. This is great from Spirit. If they can hold on to this by any margin... Could very well not see that third map. I was hotly anticipating. This was Magic's push as well. Just coming in, the mollies, the nades, making it very awkward. Alexi did well to bail himself out, but it was disbalanced catching that frag that made it really just all too much for Valda. So separate from the pack. Yeah, just quickly, Rush, you, you did change your prediction, right? Uh, I don't think that is truly allowed. I would like to change... Well, actually, I change it back, actually. Let's go Team Spirit. Wow. Really flip-flopping around now, Rush Lee. Sorry about that. No, that's all right. I guess you're allowed to. You're the man who controls the cameras. We'll give you a couple of those. Okay, well, late banana control here and a bit of a mix-up from Spirit. They've definitely put a lot of time into this CT side. It's looking a lot more cohesive than what we saw just the other day. Double nades towards logs. Nobody's home, but on that, OG actually march forward. They've flashed themselves through that aggressive smoke. And all of that utility from Spirit feels like it's wasted. Round number 10, OG need to start getting a couple of rounds on the board because the bank is building for Spirit and so is their aggression. Chopper's about to be flashed on through. Yeah, and he's going to get a freebie. Helexi completely caught out and disbalance even tagging up Valder. The dunk is evaded. Nice moves from Valder, but that could have very well got worse. They're going again. There's another flash. It's good. It's active. You keep catching OG off guard. Now... Oh my god, over towards apps, they just double naded MBK's lurk smoke. They have really done their homework today on OG and their tendencies. Spirit are looking real good. Locked out. And they're very fluid. This rotate is arriving just in the nick of time. Long smoked, pit side smoked. And Mir trying to sneak through it. You bastard, Mir. He comes behind. Oh, no. Double dinks. Double dinks, sure. But it's not the frag they were hoping for. Technically, a level push. And SDY dancing around. He's got himself the double. Oh, it looks disastrous now as it's only Mantu. <laughs> he does connect. Mid-air? Mid-air into the knees <laughs> of Magix, but it's insufficient. A triple kill. And look at the kill distribution from Spirit. They are high-flying. 
SDY, Magix, Mir and Disbalance. One, if not two kills separates top from bottom there, and they're all in the double digits. This was such a sitting duck in Alexi B. Yeah, the, the reason I was getting so hyped about the double nades is because Team Spirit, their CT side normally looks janky, and we're being continuing... Jesus, just mounting that box in time. And it doesn't seem like a lot because they didn't actually get the kill on MBK, but what it's telling me is Spirit have done so much prep and they know exactly what to expect from OG. And it's the pace change again. Alexi can't find them anything. He's been taken out, and normally he's the one to find room. He's normally feeling the pace of the game so well, but they're getting shut out. Yeah, they are. They're frustrated. Look at this. Trying to find a way out balcony. There's mollies, there's smokes, there's nades everything thrown in their direction. The read is so strong. Mir's already charged up, fully pushed down Banana. Oh, OG are getting played with. And another for Chopper as they leap out fully. Flash doesn't matter. Three more on the balcony. Tucks in, ready for the swing. Doesn't need to. Teammates are doing all the work he, need. he needs. Bomb yet to be picked up. Valda scoops it, but hunted down. Another this flawless one, Alex. Flawless, bro. Look at their money. Dude, I am actually perplexed right now because what we have seen from Spirit on their CT sides have just been average, like average at best. And I was talking about the tendencies, you know, Magic's doing those plays that were counter shot by Vitality. This is looking great. I just Balance is getting away with these peaks. He's staying very active across the map. Multiple times we've seen him over towards Banana, aggressive halls, re-picking towards middle. OG is stumped. And with the scoreline currently at nine to two, I set the bar for Team Spirit at six rounds. Right. They've already managed to better that by three. And I feel like they're good for another two within this first half. And you you can see here, not a single round has been won or lost by a detonation of the bomb or a defuse. These are clean rounds. And look at every individual right now on the spirit side. 12 kills, 11 kills, 10 kills, 9, 8. There's only, what, 4 kills worth can of variance. we get another check on those multis as well? Is it same candidates that are picking them up? Yeah, let me have a little bit of a gander here. So we're just starting off our memory of the pistol, which was actually where OG got one of their two rounds. Uh, then this happened. It was Deagles at dawn. Second round, Magic did the belly button trick. Look at that, two to the belly. And so, of course, with another clutch, this was their second round. So just taking a quick look at a few of the stat lines here, it is a bit more spread out. So uh, Idis Balance is doing great in terms of the opening jewels right now. I think he's currently sitting at 4-0. Uh, the multi kills, you got a, you got a bag from everybody. Magic's with four, four or five. Idis Balance with a couple in here as well. Mir hasn't actually been called on to do a lot at this stage of the game. It has just been a team effort from Team Spirit. And they're back up against the AKs. Once again, no AWP for Mantu. And that's where he is going to be his most effective. And Volder's taking a risk. I think it's a much needed one as Mir's ready for it. The nade and the timing on the peak are perfect. And another opening kill falls for Team Spirit. So they are doing such With a great the job. With smoke so they can't support. The one isolated player of OG goes down. It's very good stuff. Enjoying watching Spirit's take on Inferno because it's just completely booked OG. They must have put so much work in this in the last couple of days. Once they knew that they were versing OG, if you left this through in the Vita, which they did, today they opted to ban out Dust 2. You knew exactly what map they were going to be picking. And this is looking fantastic. OG are looking flat. Alexi B looks like he's making some desperate calls early. Yeah, I mean, just very, very well drilled and punishing anything that OG give them for free. Now look at this, at 40 seconds, Mir can drop his smoke in 10, and he's basically won the round. They'll have to disrespect it. Drop it at 30. It's game on. Oh, dear. Here they go, through the smoke. That's what Chopper was waiting for. The flashes are good, but Mir does find one. Trying to punish them. They're going wrap around the CT side. They don't have time for this. That's the bomb on Mantu. Mir's job is to stop it. Disbalance plucks another as he walks through the smoke late. NBK does have the flank. Chopper's holding it. Mir could be caught, but quickly traded. Five. Where's the bomb? Mantu. He's so disconnected. And he goes down. It's 10 to two and Chad four CTs left standing again. Yeah, these rounds are very clean from Team Spirit here. And just a little detail, in the past we have seen Team Spirit actually fend off B pushes that late by playing in pool behind the smoke wall. Well, this time round, Alexis molotov it, which has given them no avenue into the site. That's why they were forced to go around to ruin. And look at this, Chopper just mopping up the final frags. OG are getting handedly beaten here. This is very surprising, but it only takes one round to get them back into the mix. And with the pistols being purchased in once again, maybe they can find a lucky entry. I just balance is getting more and more confidence now as he's searching all the way down towards second middle. Puts MBK on notice, who's tucked in towards T spawn. Go on, disbalance. It's a quick flick. Doesn't quite find it this time. 
Oh, you know, I can kind of, I, probably because I had it recently, but I can feel exactly what OG are feeling. You're that lockout on Inferno CT side. It's good utility. You, you just feel like everything's just as there's a molly or a nade or a smoke or a spray or a wall bang. Everything just destabilizes before you can really get off the starting mark. This probably helps a bit as well. Alexi normally gets away with a couple of plays where he slips into a backline with a good read or a good pace change. He's currently, in terms of opening duels, seven of which he's been involved in, sitting at two successful five where he's gone down as the first kill. Oh. Just balance in his re-aggressions. It's five for him now. That's what, uh, that is some, a topic that I need to remember next time I'm talking about Spirit because I've, I've seen it time and time again. He just always seems to be taking the initiative at the right moment. Just as this pin's pulled, as they gather resources, he just comes in for one. Disappears back into the night. Could this be 11 for Team Spirit? They've missed their smoke, or unless it's deliberately towards pit. Doesn't look right. CT smoke all the same. Alexi does get his drive by, but the spray control is flawless from SD White. Disbalance needs one more. It's on NBK and not to be. He tries his deagle hand, but it's 11 for Spirit. And we are running through this first half of our second map. It's OG's pick. It doesn't feel like it. If they can get 13, Chad, we can stick a fork in this, I reckon. Yeah, and if this one is done, we're going to have quite the extended break before we can sink our teeth into Mad Lions versus Fnatic. That game does not go live until... 6.30 CET, and we're currently just knocking on the door of 5 p.m. as we see MBK with a bit of a facepalm moment there, and for good reason. OG, their map choice. They're not looking online whatsoever. Overpass was a close affair. It was 16.13. This one here, the complete opposite. They have been shut out, and once again, a truckload of damage done. Mantu down to 26. Alexi B operating with 19 points of health, and there's still a minute 30 left in the round. Utility... Molotovs are plenty, a couple of HEs to work with for Spirit to even harass more so. And once again, it feels like they have a great handle on this map. They don't look under pressure. They're not getting caught off guard. Sure, Chopper's taken a chunk of damage within the early banana foray, but that's it. That's the only thing to report is now I Disbalance wants to go for a pick towards banana. And if they're not ready for it, Volde will be the first man to fall. How wide does he go on this peak? Gets the first, now disappearing, hoping to draw them into Chopper. Quick reactions. Balder has leveled the playing field. They need this, OG. Got to wrap this half up with some sort of confidence boost because Spirit took their map pick, and this feels far from OGs now. So battered and bruised, Chad. Look how wounded they are. They can't push through the Molotov. Oh, it's been dropped a little bit early from I Disbalanced. I was going to say that Mantu and Alexi can't push that Molotov, but now they can just walk in. Flash is good. This has been heard. They know they're in pool. They know that they're pushing. And Mir's mopped it up. This is it, Alex. This is looking like 12 to 2. And to Gets played with. Nice work from Mir. A little wide swing. Crouch key hit. Orp recovered. And that's 14 for Mir. <laughs> we have to get Boris back on the mic. With right. his cheeky little grin. We've got to ask him how much time they've put into Inferno here. Because this is looking great. Everything that they've done is the right maneuver. And, and they've hardly missed. You, you have Idis Balance active as an AWPer on the CT side of Inferno with six opening kills. Now, if you have been keeping your eyes trained sure. on Inferno, how that's evolved, yeah, you can just see this. Of course, they're frustrated. They can't do anything. Orpers on the CT side of Inferno have been forced away from going like, from moves like this like because this. normally they're mollied, normally they're naded. And he's been able to lurch out and look for kills. And oh! when Alexi goes down, that's seven opening oh, kills for Idis Balance in the first no. half. Alexi's going to be kicking himself. He just fired a shot second. I mean, they literally probably just heard the words Orp in apps. And at that moment, Disbalance takes a Hail Mary peak. God damn, the frustrations boil up. The vinegar just boiling up inside of them. Skin's getting a bit hot. Com's getting a bit quiet. Disbalance could get another here. It would be Mantu or MBK. And he gets oh, him. He it tucked is. in from the flash as well. Clinical textbook orping from Disbalance. And he's practically won them this final round. He's got them the two opening frags, two very different parts of the map. And now they want to finish B and Chopper's over here. He doesn't have any nades to work with. Working with a slither gap. So as soon as he spots one, he will be falling back into the site. 
And now Magix and Mir, they're going to get their skates on. Mir's on his way over. A flash to bail this out. 35 seconds left. Has to be the B finish. He's got the flash ready and waiting. Boom! Slows him down. 29. Here they go. Mir might be the first contact. Chopper on new box. And that's the push. It's not the frag, but it is damage. Valder, the bomb with the bomb, has to get it down with just 26 points of health. The flash from Magix isn't going to do too much. That's the necessary frag. Time on his side, another frag, and now finished off by Magic Spirit. Twist the knife into the guts of OG and Heartbreaker, Desk Slammer. It's 13 to two. to admit it my tears dried up this story's over we're getting older we're never sober i'm so hungover but inside i know there's still a light that keeps us together and there is no thing i would rather have together with our reliance it shouldn't be rocket science hey if i'm being honest we're just feeling lost inside <laughs> Baby, I know that I fucked up But hear me out just a minute I'll say what's up We can't be broken by words unspoken Our lives are an ocean, but right now it's frozen But inside I know there's still a light that keeps us together and there is no thing I would rather have Together with our reliance It shouldn't be rocket science, hey If I'm being honest We're just feeling lost inside Look into your eyes, I see the colors of your soul and I recognize Every single line, every single roadblock Got two hearts that beat in time In the towers, looking down all night Blocking out the sun that we need Maybe we can change our stripes and colors You're the only one I see Fifteen rounds of play so far in our second map of our fourth day. My goodness, of Spirit and OG brought quite the twists and turns. We didn't see a single round, Chad was just telling me. A single round solved by a bomb explosion. It was all eliminations and a 13 CT rounds for Spirit. They head into the T side with a very luxurious reality. You win the pistol. You're within touching distance of the series. OG, battered, bruised, I would argue broken. And would have to do something practically impossible. They boast two rounds on their T side. And one of them was the pistol. One of them was a clutch from Issa. Yeah, it's not looking great right now for OG. They have been on the rise in recent months, but here they are being stopped and stunned by Team Spirit, who on this pistol have bought in with a P250 for Idis Bounce, who's been hitting some big shots with the AWP. That's left SDY and Chopper with a bit of utility. Smoking a Molotov for SDY, smoking a Flash for Chopper, and a slow start to the round here as they need to deal with OG, who have opted for Julie's on Alexi B. 
and Issa with a smoke and a kit. The other three, Kevlar and those USPs, and Banana is where they want to finish. Alexi B looking like he's he better of jiggle peeking that line, holding on to this smoke, and Julie's will it need those 30 bullets to delay Team Spirit's push onto the aforementioned site. And he's going to need to hold this mouse one down. Very spammy trigger finger here required because the rotation, it's far away. Oh, and man. That's the site completely given up immediately, Alex. That's immediately the site given up. The flash, oh, the molly, it follows. The bomb's going to yeah. go down. Uh, they have to work with one smoke and a kit with these USPs. And they're all coming through banana. Oh, God. Okay. Here comes the CT swarm. Chop up to bait in magics. That's the plan. Let's see how it goes. Valda needs to go down quickly. He does. Magix finds him. NBK, though, doubles up. And so it becomes a favorable OG retake, especially if Mir gets peppered. He gets brought even further down to 32. Mantu's got three HP at the end of that one. Maybe this retake's got some legs, but they're so damn low. Smoke good CT. They're not giving it to them. 15 seconds. They don't have the time. Disbalance needs another. Can't find it. Mantu's got him. Just needs to get that bomb defused. This is working on it, but from behind, Mir strikes, and now they ain't got the time. Patience prevails. The duelies find frags, and it's Alexi's duelies, no less. I'd definitely be in the salt mines after that one. I want to add a little bit more uh, insult to injury there. That smoke that was dropped top banana that stalled them out for 10 seconds on that retake, this one right here that you're capturing on MBK's screen, that was Alexi's as well. He went down, dropped the Julies and the smoke, and the Julies are what finished off the round here. So Alexi B's death, it spelled absolute Whoa. disaster for OG as the scoreline now is 14 to 2. Brutality. This is no. their map choice. I was mentioning just before, OG have been on the rise. They have made it to number six in the world. Yeah, this is a statement from Spirit. An absolute big, colossal statement saying, hey guys, don't forget about us. Two more rounds to elimination. Yeah, this will be sending OG out very early into the IEM Beijing journey. And we saw already they're on the cusp. OG are vulnerable to losing their uh, top six in the points. Will this be a full B commitment? The utility implies it. They start their charge. Chopper very much ahead of the pack, and he confirms one oranges. Oh, no bullets left in the CZ, so all is good in the hood. Man to mantles. Good harassment. Disbalance does seem to stabilize things. Now, the bomb's down. Magic's catches a very heavy nade. But it's an SMG retake. I don't know what they plan to do with it. A re-smoke arrives. So now NBK can smoke off Mont the uh, banana side if he wanted to. This they all is have to go This is going to go do that. Here. And a smoke on new box. I kind of like that. It does give Disbalance something to play around, though. But the frags come in. Disbalance needs to go down now, but the crossfire is too strong. Mantu in the smoke. They know where he is. And that's the end of that. Spirit take 15. And guys, we may very well be having an extended break between Mad Lions and Fnatic in this series. Now, this is the first round of the lower bracket. OG, they dropped a phase in a three-map affair on day number one. It went the distance. We had a 16-10 on Inferno. We had a 22-20 on Dust2, which OG actually picked up, and a 16-12 from phase to close out that series on Mirage. And they're moving up against a Spirit who were pantsed by Vitality on day number one. Well, both teams fighting for survival here, and the winner will have to take on Na'Vi tomorrow. So they've opted in with yet another force. They need to stay alive as OG push. Man two spams. He grabs one. He's even going to almost get the second. I disbalance will survive. Mir saves his teammate. And Team Spirit have a 4v4 with a minute 30 left on the clock. OG need individual heroics. They're not getting back into this without big frags from the four remaining. And Team Spirit, you don't have to rush this. You can wait for the CTs to continue to make desperate plays, go for the risky maneuvers. As that's exactly what Alexi B wants to do. Tucked all the way in now, deep banana. Valde to oversee with the UMP from range. It's quite obvious who has the advantage on the buy here, as it will be three AKs and a Galil up against that UMP, MP9, CZ, and a Scout. They're standing their ground in banana here, OG. Alexi has the chance for a multi. And he has got the new, the crucial first. The flash does stop Valda from supporting. So they do isolate the frag. It is 45 seconds for this round to reach its conclusion. And that's a good lineup, good headshot. Puts us back into a 2v2. They've done 
an awful lot of heavy lifting with these pistols, as you said and deemed necessary. But two smokes are blooming on B. Issa is alone. He's calling for MBK's backup, but the low HP and disbalance, if he could just find one, ideally, into magics. And well, there is. The dream becomes a reality. Disbalance so low. He's trying to wrap the smoke. Issa's holding it, though, and finishes <laughs> it off. <laughs> okay, okay, well, they survive. Now that's all it is, a battle of survival. 12 rounds on the trot required for OG to take us to overtime. And that in itself is a massive haul. Yes, it is a CT bias map, but 12 rounds straight from this position with how mentally broken I'm sure OG are feeling right now, it is going to take more than a gargantuan task. And there's Issa again. So he's had impact in two of the three rounds that OG have been able to mount here today. And Team Spirit, they want to finish this as quickly as possible. They have opted in with an AK-47, a Mac-10, and then some pistols with a Force Buy. Utility, they don't have a lot to work with, but they might not need it if SDY is able to crack a couple of skulls with this AK. Setting up for some standard mid-control magics with a flash over the top, and on that, SDY will peek off the Skybox. Quadside looking good. That Molotov will ensure it. He's going to have to deal with a grenade in his back pocket and SDY. Let's get chunked down to 56, but it isn't the end of the world. He's have teammates with Kevlar and head armor if he wants to drop that across to any of him, or any of them if he's feeling like the walking wounded, but it looks like an A finish. Smoke over towards Moto. Hard to get into this site without any flashes of Molotovs. Oh, good mate. And two holding aren't long. He's got a lot of bogeys. Good flash. They all tuck in. He wants to re-aggress. Oh, and through the smoke, Mantu does continue to make them work for it. Could. Sorry, what? Found SDY, but apparently no. Sorry, what? And disbalance catches the aggression of Issa just like that. This round has turned once again in favor of Spirit. NBK was graveyard. He continues to be there. But this squad, this death pack... Sets his sights on A. He has been spotted. Disbalance needs to apply some pressure from Apps, and he has. But Magix goes down. Great stuff from NBK. He locks him out. A is not the play. And OG find their four. Oof, okay, another deep breath. And that sound you're going to hear at the start of every single round. That bell, that gong, lets OG know that it is backs up against the wall. As this is a big play. This is huge by MBK not to go down. If he gives up sight, that rotation coming in from Valda only was the MP9, difficult to work with. And unfortunate after a couple of big kills, but just to see OG continue to get back into this, that momentum will start to build. Bit of a face palm coming in here. There is no rush to finish this four spirit. I'm sure a 16-4 probably feels a lot better than a 16-8, but it doesn't matter how you get that W. It's still a 2-0. It still sets you up for the lower bracket run against Na'Vi and up mid they scuttle. Issa now with the M4. He's getting run down. How many can he get? They line up and Issa gets the ace. A quick five frags against the unarmored team spirit and the fifth round on the board. That's going to be 14 kills now for Issa as he leads the charge for OG. This is perfect. Oh, you couldn't ask for more, could you? I said, you really couldn't. It's not an overpass. You love it, you know, when they had the MAC-10 kills in the door against the yeah. USPs. Well, the Glock's lining up like that and you have an M4, that's probably just as nice. Yeah, Actually, maybe so. even better. I mean, bearing in mind that when you're on a CT, typically it's an AK blowing your head off. Yeah. So nice just to have five of them on your screen and they all melt. A rare visual. Okay, well, guns are back out for Spirit here. Another crack at closing this one. Round 21 oh. and Mantis down the opening. So Mia falling in the early stages. It doesn't smell like a round for Spirit. Doesn't. Losing Mir, a very good casualty to cause. Chopper really wants to deny mid control. You can see how lackadaisical he was just pushing up, does force the rotate off B. Yeah, I think the fact that he knew that that ult was on the other side gives him a, a bit more of a opportunity to be brazen with that face. And now they've rotated the ult back towards top mid. So being fluid, just like I disbalance was, but it looks like the bomb as well as Chopper and old boy magics are going to be pushing up Banana. That's held Alexi honest. He's had to drop out of smoke. He still has Valde close in rotation with a smoke of his own. Now to see them win this, B is probably the best option. It gives you a four on two. You trade out efficiently. You can find yourself in a 2v3 post plan. And that becomes very winnable. But they need to get past Alexi and Valde first. Yeah, mission one. Alexi's letting him past. He saw him. <gasps> he did. 
And Valdez the one to get the double kill. Bombs loose, looking good now for OG. And yeah, Alexi's position going unchecked practically confirms the round. Magix needs to find a lot of heavy and hard frags. It will be man two first, and well, he's the last one to fire a bullet. Well, it did feel like uh, Magic saw him then on the entry, but maybe while he was clearing his corners and laser focused on that crosshair, might have overlooked that position and said information to his teammates. Could have been a kill onto Alexi B. But it was that opening from Man 2 again as the smoke blooms, takes the shot, takes out Mir, one of the heaviest hitters, especially from map number one. Mir and Magic, they were quite the combo. Here on map number two, you've got leading the charge, I Disbalance. He had seven opening frags on that CT half. Absolutely monstrous stuff. Tech 9, Quasi Buy, not fully investing. Just balance a little extra economical in pursuit of perhaps an AWP. Yeah, I, I want Team Spirit to make sure that they keep it cool here. These guys are a team who are on the cusp of being able to compete with the Tier 1 big boys on a regular basis, and it feels like today they've come to play, their homework being done on a map like Inferno, traditionally a weakness for them, but how can they go on this course by up mid and Mantu with another? And Mir as well. And that's a massacre on the A site. Tech Nines get them nowhere and disbalance is added to the list. It's a long list of OG frags there, practically evenly divided. And so OG, a late resurgence. It's been five in a row. Very late. Very late. <laughs> Ever since 15 was found by Spirit. But that was a half buy in pursuit of glory. They will once again have the necessary funds to invest. This is such a difficult scoreline to come back from, and that's why I'm holding my breath. Yeah, well, we're not going to start building the incredible, what would it have to be, five? Uh, it was 13 rounds straight, so yeah. the scoreline was 15 to two. Quick 13 in response. Yeah, just a casual just 13 rounds. Casual 13 CT rounds <laughs> in a row. Any day of the week, just as you do. But it, dot bet doesn't think it's happening. Yeah, and uh, those odds are probably very fair at this stage. If you were to take a punt on OG mid-game with the scoreline like this, all, all, all the power to you. Come back, yeah, man. <laughs> good luck with that one. But, hey, look, it's a good chance to uh, win a big pot if you're feeling faith in the sunflowers. Let's have a look. Early aggression met by Nade. Very Great good one Nade. this time. Rare to see that one pay off. That's 60 damage inflicted. OG have clearly done their homework as well. Issa and MBK have done a great job over towards A. They have, haven't they? And MBK's back in that same position over towards Graveyard, this time standing. Mid control taken, smokes over towards A. Isolating pit and MBK falls. Uh-oh. Spells trouble. Issa has to lock down short and that's his mission. That's his objective and that is SDY down. Big frag from Issa. Well, they've snuck through mid to B. They're trying to. Mantu doesn't know. He has no info there, but he is patrolling. He's, oh, the time he doesn't this catch is the glimpse. ridiculous. Magix is really just threading the needle. Mantu checks it, misses oh. his shot. Magix propels forwards. Disbalances behind enemy lines as well, and Magix does start to find B frags. Where's the bomb going? I don't even know. I don't even know if Spirit do. They've got a player over towards Halls, one in the arch. Everybody's everywhere. Bombs in Banana. Magix does go down, so Valda... Finding that, this gets weird now. Mir wants to go B. We well, just told them somebody's banana. This is an insane round of Counter-Strike. Spirit may have flubbed this. Mantu rotating in. Numbers do favor OG. Frag onto Valda could give him a way back in. He holds his nerve, holds his spray. 10 HP, he gets away from that jaw. The gap is being held. Mantu's not going to miss. OG do find another on their road to the impossible comeback. Oh, boy. After the openings that we just saw go down, SDY onto MBK was a fantastic shot. Issa mopping that up and then calling it clear was huge. And then I Disbalance getting caught in transition. It all fell apart. And you could just see how separated Spirit were. There doesn't feel like there's any trade potential in a lot of the jewels that they opted to take. And that round right there was their chance. You get the opening, you get all the map territory, and you drop the ball because everybody's trying to do their own little mini play in the microcosm of that round. And round 24, it's going to be the limp in half by again. Nades toward top banana. Nobody home to receive and more pressure being applied. The Tech Nines dug dug sound out and they continue forward. Valda and Alexi, they need to shut this down. They need to shut it down now. Alexi's already got one. Mir applies the pressure enough to push through that smoke on the one. 
Here they come, flooding in. Hail Mary with pistols. They do manage to weather the storm of the initial spray. Alexi is being pushed, though, and he does knock Disbalance off his perch. Should be enough, and it is. Magic's caught in the smoke eventually. So, OG, you're, you're convincing me slowly. It is <laughs> seven rounds in a row. Yep, that's not bad. It's halfway there. Considering how that first half went, this is a night and day performance from them. I don't, I, you know, just for the spirit, uh, mental game. Oh, imagine I, if that goes OT. I don't see. I, I don't see OT ever translating in favor of Spirit after conceding so many rounds. You'd really need quite the magical timeout to get your head back out of the gutter. But they've had so many chances and they continue. Spirit. They've been staring at 15 for the last seven rounds. OG refusing to bend the knee. They're even adapting here, OG. So they've been playing very passive setups over towards the A site now, doing something a little bit more forward. You can see the boost here in the boiler room, giving Issa the jump on anybody creeping up through halls. Standard banana pressure being applied, and we just get the usual back and forth of grenades. Right now in spawn, look at Magic's position. He was setting up a smoke, and it's not going to be thrown on out, so... Good old-fashioned B hit. Yeah, but there's already three players here. So this is a great read from OG, all things considered. I cannot believe that they are going for a gamble stack like this in a minute on the clock with only one round to their name. If they lose this, it's game over still. This has been a valiant effort on the comeback so far. The cash is built, but that doesn't matter because they lose the round. They won't be rebuying. Still three on B. 40 seconds. They're not moving. Well, there is. This is very interesting to note. The eye disbalances the individual to maintain banana control. Smoke to hold them and lock them in position, and it has done. So MBK and Issa, it's all on you. 25 seconds. Your rotation is miles away. You better frag up. Issa. Oh, no. NBK. He still gets the chance. He pulls the trigger on both of them. Mir landed on his dome. OG are going to find another round and double digits. It's just SDY disbalance. Bomb is loose in the pit. Oh, wow. The way NBK managed to get away with that, he had the pin pulled as they pushed. Disbalance lives to tell the tale. He'll bring that AWP into the next zero dollars next to his name. Timeout called. Yeah, I don't blame Definitely. you. Definitely I don't blame you. The fact that they're not getting plants here is such a problem. Uh, and you can really just see that it, it there's not much conviction because they're so close to do it. Players can lose a bit of tenacity. You know how far it is. You don't want to make a mistake. Maybe you wouldn't take the normal risk. <laughs> Saying a little would. prayer, I think, at this point. It's like, God, just one more. Lord Gabe, Lord please give Gaben. us the power to find five headshots and close five, out this Five game. kills. They've, these guys have got 18, 22. I just need five. I've seen some comebacks in my time, but with how deflated OG looked at the end of that first half, this would be massive. I would say Team Spirit would uh, be getting a bit of a reputation as chokers if they're unable to close this one here. And look, for them to be able to compete at this level of Counter-Strike against uh, the bigger names in the scene, they need to make sure that they can close out victories, close out oh. games of where they've been able to earn a massive haul. And look at this risk from OG. Four players, top banana. They're setting up for some huge banana control. So. Issa and MBK are going to throw their nades early and rotate all the way back, and this is Mir's chance. Yeah, and Valder was ready for him. Another OG round could be starting to shape up. Disbalance naded. Oh, no. Colossal. And a disaster strikes again for the CIS squad. Chopper's only working with a Deagle. Retrieving those weapons doesn't seem viable. They're pushing down, denying space. Deep smoke and a spray brings Chopper down to eight. Everything SDY and the gang try and do is being met by force here from OG. I still can't believe that Alexi is willing to operate with risk like a four-man b lean at the start of rounds, knowing that if they make the wrong call and it's an A-rush, they likely lose. And now Mantu, he's even pressing forward. It feels like OG with every round they win, they're growing more and more in confidence like they're just playing the first half. This round should be over. Round number 26, it's a difficult round for Team Spirit to have any say, considering there's only 45 seconds left on the clock. They don't have any map territory to work with. OG are still poised with all five members, and Valder's the only one who's taken any damage whatsoever. Light bit of utility to work with. Alexi B posturing forward. He's going to get flashed for by Valder. Now they can swing on out. Now they can fill, fill the feed with frags, but all right, Alexi doesn't want to fight, and 
If Team Spirit don't die here, that means that they won't be getting the loss bonus, but they will be holding on to three so We're AKs. looking for Disbalance's orb. I wonder if our observers can try and find it. Because they couldn't on logs. He got naded. I wonder if the nade blew it out. Oh, that chicken's stuck in the ground there. Yeah, that's a good point because they used the two early nades of Issa and MBK, and then that felt that Mir and Ida's balance got baited into going into Banana thinking it might be possible. And then as he's pushed on in, the second wave of nades is, is the over the fence, over maybe? The fence? Oh, it's gone now. Yeah, well, nice, nice try. Yeah, nice try indeed. It's like Where's Waldo or Where's Wally for those of you who aren't American? Waldo. Waldo. That's what was Waldo. the bad guys had the same name? Do you think? What? What, what was the bad guy's name? Was there a bad guy in Waldo? Yeah, he wore like yellow and black. Uh, of course he did. Bad guy's name in where's Wally? Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa. Let me have a look here. Oh yeah, Oddlaw. Waldo spelled backwards. All right. Uh huh. Yeah, the producers uh, on top of it might come in handy. I can't believe there's where's Wally Law. <laughs> It was the wizard. Uh oh, Chopper, you're forced forward, my friend. He's got it. He's got it under wraps, but traded. And that will be a pressure towards B. Mantu bunny hops his way to hold the line. 2 2 split on the CTs. If they go for the B commitment here, this could work out. Valda's got something for us. Deep, real deep. Oh, and Mantu needed that. Mir caught again. He's been having a bit of a tough time of things. What on earth? Magix, Magix burns down. He misread the molly. Costs him most of his health, but it doesn't stop him getting the frag. Valda down three on three. Is this the round? Surely not. Oh, gee, they've worked very hard to close this gap. Is this still top mid right now? He's so worried about a lurk. He's just getting his move on right. Nine so rounds. Nine rounds in a row OG have managed to pick up, but this needs to be the tenth if they want to keep going. Will the series end here? This is the go. Damage to SDY, it's trivial. Crossfire established. Magix is responsible for coffins. NBK, though, he enters nicely. He's down. It's all on to Issa. Two to find. He's running out of time. He does have the kit. He's swung on. And eventually, the war of attrition is won. Team Spirit will convert. Little sketchy at the end there, but smiles regardless. They have taken down OG on OG's map pick, and it's 2-0. Spirit eliminate OG from IEM Beijing.